Hi, I'm Matt Schell, and today we are continuing to look at Strata. So Strata is a procedural level generation tool for Unity that works with tile maps and layered generation. And so if you watch some of our other videos, we covered the basics. Uh, but here we're looking at some of the kind of next level concepts. So here are a couple of levels generated with the current board generation profile, right? What I've done is I've made the room chunks a little bit more complex. You can see these squares. You can see the patterns repeating, um, but I've kind of made them a little bit more maze-like. Uh, we've got these ones with the green water and these ones with the trees. And so you can see, right, we can, ge we've, we can generate something with a good amount of variety, but pretty quickly we start to see repeating patterns, right? And that's where our second level of randomness comes in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up, I've added these two tiles here. We're gonna set up what I call chance tiles, right? And what they'll do is basically add another layer of randomness to our room templates that we're spawning. So let's load up a room template. Okay, this is a very simple one, but actually that's probably good. So here we just have a north, south, east, west entering room template with a lot of empty space. What we're gonna do is we're gonna spawn a random monster in the middle of it. So we've added this M tile for monster, and we're gonna go into our board library, into the board library entry list, and we are going to find, it should be in here, or oh, actually might not be. So, okay, so I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save the room. That's gonna add it to the, to the list. Yeah, monster chance tile. Now, what we can do here is we can open up the chance section of this entry, right? So this is gonna correspond with the ASCII character Z, and it's gonna spawn this tile, right? So. The chance characters basically are, the chance characters are what we're gonna choose between. So let's set that to three. And let's just add some monsters. Let's add this guy with the green head. And I'm just adding these guys so that I can, uh, maybe this fire guy, those guys are pretty cool. I'm just going to save, save them to a room so they can get added to the board library and then we can erase them from here and save the changes again. That's just our way of automatically adding them. Of course, we could add them manually. Okay, so 98, 97, and 100 are our new items. So let's go ahead and so let's get the character IDs. We have this bracket and we have uppercase S. These are randomly generated. You can, of course, assign them manually, but I just want to make it easier for people. Okay, and let's give them all an equal 33% chance to spawn right now. So now, instead of drawing this monster chance tile to the board like this, it should pick one of these three monsters and put them down. So that should be good. Let's give it a try. Okay, and so we can see here's our green guy. Did we get anybody else? It's just that one. That room template's not spawning. Oh, come now. Okay, there's our fire guy. So it's working. So let's go ahead and take this a little bit further to use it to modify our room generation. Look, let's look at these R shapes, right? This kind of funny R shape is very distinctive and as soon as it spawns on the map, like you really notice it. It's, so we don't probably wanna break that up, right? We don't wanna have like, of course not, so fine. there we go, R, R. We don't wanna have these super recognizable patterns. So let's grab North South too and let's set up another chance character, and we're gonna make this one for walls. So we're gonna use this guy here. This will be a chance wall. So what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna do a lot. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna really break this up. Let's do the connector here, the connector here, maybe a connector here, connector here. We're gonna randomize whether these appear, 
right? And maybe we'll we'll place it. Let's just do walls for now, just to keep it like keep it simple. Okay, so let me save that, and that's going to add my question mark to my library. Okay, question chance. So let's open it up, and the chance characters in this case are going to be the wall, and the wall is M. Let's do just M and zero. So there's two, and let's say it's got a 33% chance to be zero and a 66% chance to be a wall. I should, should have made that happen more. Okay, here we go. So here's one, right? And so we can see this got broken out, this got broken out, that got spawned as a wall. Let's see if we have another specimen. Yeah, here again, that got broken out, right? So immediately, right, we're not recognizing that pattern as easily. So let's just go through and customize a couple of our other like really distinctive walls, especially these north-south ones, which tend to spawn a lot because they're like very connected. And I think we'll do it in like key places, right? Like here, that's gonna change the connectivity. Uh, maybe, what are the really distinctive features here? Let's just take, let's do this whole thing. And maybe this wall, and maybe we'll add like a blocker there. It could close there, we'll make that a chance too. And maybe let's add some chance to spawn a monster in there. Uh, and actually let's edit our monster so that maybe there's a chance not, well, no, let's, let's have a monster in there, that's cool. We could make it so there's a chance to spawn a monster or not, right? We could make one of the chances for monster be, be nothing. Uh, we just edit that one, let's do four. And again, let's just, let's break this up here. Get rid of that, that's kind of distinctive, that's kind of distinctive, and maybe we'll add like some stuff there. And save. And we could also make this like sometimes it's a wall, sometimes it's a spike or a trap or whatever, but Let's try that. Okay, so here we go. Here's our here's our thing with our monster. Okay, the monster got trapped. So that's something to think about, right? We can create situations that are totally impassable. There's our monster. Okay, the monster's trapped again. Oh, the monster's always trapped, ha ha. Okay, that's not so good, right? So we should tweak that. So let's actually, let's fix that one. So let's just make one of these like definitely always empty. Maybe that one. So we don't get trapped monsters all the time. Okay, let's see. All right, there we go. Got one here. Here, right next to the exit, that's kind of interesting. Blocked here, so that's kind of cool, right? Here, he's in his little house there. So, as you can see, right, this gives us just a chance to, even though we're using actually like a pretty small number of chunks here, we get some pretty cool variations in terms of some of those chunks, right? We can have internal variants. Here's another one that's kind of cool. I think having the chance for that monster to be zero is probably a good thing. Maybe let's modify that and then we'll, we'll call it a day. Uh, let's go to the board library. And maybe just for fun, we'll just add some random monsters too. Uh, where is it? Here's the monsters, right? So let's say, maybe we'll say like, maybe the flame guy, I forget which one he is. This guy only has like a 5% chance of spawning. And then zero is another 28. So pretty good chance of zero, but flame guy once in a while, or whoever that was, P. It's not flame guy, I don't think. So let's see, we should be getting some rooms where they're not. Doesn't look like it though. All right, uh, what's that one? Yeah, this is one. Okay, so we got nobody here. Um, I think actually, let's lower the chance, right? Let's make it like 15, 15, 15, 54, not 550, 55. And of course, now there's no monsters at all. 
All right, that feels a little better. Not like a monster in every one of those templates. Okay, so that shows you, now that's, I probably reduced the monsters too much. Anyway, we can balance, right? So that shows you how we can use chance tiles to further break up and randomize our, and we could have a lot of these different chance tiles, right? I'm just using two here, but to further randomize our chunks. I have to give a shout out to Spelunky, right? This is all very heavily inspired by Spelunky, especially the multi-pass randomization. Um, you guys should all go read, play Spelunky if you haven't, and read the Spelunky book. It's amazing. All right, that's our video here. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, please leave a comment if you have questions, feedback, feature requests, and if you could like the video, subscribe to the channel, that helps the content get found on YouTube, which helps me a lot, and I would very much appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. Bye.